So this is our little review for the Garmin G-Wind wireless wind transducer. Um, we bought it as part of a kit um, with the depth and speed through the water, all that stuff. Individually, it's like 700 bucks. But the appeal of it is it's got this little solar panel on it. So you put it up there. And it has like, I don't know, 50 foot of range. So as long as your mast is less than 50 foot, it registers on our little wind wind meter here. Um, so we bought it, installed it. Everything was cool with that. Um, August 10th, we got caught in a squall and we anchored to ride it out. Um, we left the transducer on and we was watching the wind. It was like torrential downpour and whatnot. Um, but it got up to 36 knots, and that's when the transducer stopped working. Um, it took me two weeks to get into a position where I could climb up the mast and get it back off, and I took it apart. It was all dry inside. So I went through the troubleshooting, and we figured it was the battery. Um, so we ordered a battery. That, that took eight days. So now the new battery's in there, and it works again. Um, I'm thinking what the problem is, is that little weep hole that's probably designed that if water gets in there, it escapes. Water got in faster than it could escape. So, we started sailing in June, we made it to August 10th, we got like two months out of this thing before you have to climb the mast and replace the battery. And it's not off the shelf either, it's like something you gotta order through Garmin. Um, so yeah, if I had to do it again, I would not get this, um, especially since I was replacing all the wiring in the mast anyway. It didn't really benefit me to have a wireless transducer. Um, so in my opinion, I would not recommend this for anybody that is going to do any kind of sailing that they might end up in a squall or heavy downpour and they don't want to climb their mast all the time.